Hello everyone, my name is Brett Mueller and I'm a cataract refractive surgeon with Parker's New Vision down here in San Antonio, Texas. I have a pretty interesting case to show you all. Basically when I was implanting a Star Vision ICL, the ICO actually flipped on me. So this case will demonstrate the surgical technique that I utilize to recover from this potential complication and deliver a premium result for my patient. This is a right eye patient and for every right eye patient I start off my surgery by making a paracentesis around the 4 o'clock meridian and directing my paracentesis toward the 3 o'clock meridian. I then enlarge my paracentesis ever so slightly. This paracentesis architecture will enable me to easily access the ICL foot plates with my ICL manipulator later on when I dial the ICL into the sulcus. I am now injecting some Aki coat uh, into the eye to make the eye firm. I am now making a three millimeter incision with the keratone. And then I then let out some of the Aki coat out of the eye so that the eye is nice and soft. I am now injecting the ICL into the eye and everything seems to be going well. The ICL begins to unfold and everything looks like it's going perfect. And then all of a sudden the ICL starts to flip. At this moment you have a few seconds where you can try to flip the ICL to the correct orientation while it is still folded on itself by orienting your Occoat cannula into the fold and using Occoat to try to get the folded foot plate back to the correct orientation. But as you can see this did not work and now the ICL is completely flipped upside down. Now it is not safe to try to flip the ICL inside the eye, it needs to be removed. For intraocular ICL removal, I like to orient the ICL obliquely with the nasal foot plates being along the 4 o'clock meridian and the temporal foot plates being along the 10 o'clock meridian. This enables the best access to grasp the meat of the ICL with the lens loading forceps. It's really important to just take your time to get the ICL in the perfect orientation so that you can then grasp the ICL with the lens loading forceps along the one-third, two-third junction of the ICL along the optic. This is a very important step that needs to be done perfectly in order to set yourself up for success when it comes to removing the ICL from the eye. Here I am injecting Occoat under the ICL to create space between the ICL and the crystalline lens but I do not want to add too much to where the ICL is pushed up against the cornea endothelium. Here I'm showing the plane trajectory of where I want to grab the ICL along the one third, two third junction. Here I'm going inside the eye, being very careful to not touch the cornea or the lens. The goal is to come across about 80% of the ICL. If I do not grab enough of the ICL, it'll just fall off the forceps as I try to pull it out of the eye. So the whole goal is to get a good, firm grip of the ICL so I can pull it out of the eye with one fluid motion. And as you can see, I'm coming across the ICL along that one-third, two-third junction. Very careful. Try to get about 80% uh, length of that ICL. Firmly get a hold of it, and now I can come out with one fluid motion. Now you can take that same ICL and then load it uh, into the injector as demonstrated here, just as you normally would. Pull it into the cartridge, adding some more Occoat into the eye to make sure it's the appropriate pressure for implanting the ICL. You can inject the ICL just like you normally do, as demonstrated here. As you can see, the ICL is coming out perfect in the correct orientation. The ICL foot plates begin to unfold. And as you can see here, the ICL is in the correct orientation. Adding some more Occoat on top of the ICL and now taking my lens manipulator and dialing the ICL into the sulcus. Nasal foot plates done first and then the temporal foot plates being done. Positioning the ICL appropriately and now removing the remainder of Occoat with BSS solution by washing out the anterior chamber. I like to use the main wound and then the paracentesis site. And now just making sure there's no leaks. And that concludes this surgery. Hope you learned something from, from this. Thank you very much.